So now, we are looking at longitudes and latitudes. So, from geography, we have the imaginary lines uh, that run from east to west and north to south. The central one is called the equator, which is zero degrees. And this other one is the Greenwich Meridian, which is also three, zero degrees. So longitudes are those lines that run from north to south, which in mathematics, you call them great circles. The one that runs from east to west, you call them the latitudes. But in mathematics, you call them small circles. So north to south, those are longitudes or great circles. East to west, uh, uh, east to west, you call them latitudes. So we have the latitudes or small circles, longitude or great circles. So we'll start with number one. Concept number one is plotting position. How do you plot a position on the surface of the earth? So you start with a latitude followed by a longitude. You have to start with a latitude then followed by a longitude. For example, you can be asked to plot A which is 40 degrees north and 30 degrees south. B, 60 degrees south, 40 west. Sorry, 40 north, 30 west. Not that, that. Then 60 south, 40 west. You can also have C, 50 degrees north, 70 east. 40 north, 30 west, 60 south, 40 west. 50 north, 70 east. So how do you plot? To plot those ones, again, the center one is the equator. So 40 will be equal to, there, that is 40 degrees north, then 30 west. For B, 60 south. So you come down here, 60 south, 40 west. So that one is 40 west, so it's gonna be there. So that is, this is, a, this is B. Sorry, this is B. Now, for C, 50 north, 70 east. 50 north, 70 east. So you have your C there. So you have your A, B, and C. So you have to start with the latitude, then the longitude. So that's how you plot. So the next thing you look at after plotting, how do you calculate distance along a latitude or a longitude? Now, distance is always given in terms of kilometers or nautical miles. So we are going to start with the distance along what? A great circle or in short, longitude. Now, how do you calculate the distance along a great circle? Example, you can be asked this. Example, calculate the distance between, calculate the distance between A, 40 degrees north, 30 east, and B, 70 degrees south, 30 east. You're supposed to get in kilometers, and number two, in nautical miles. So how do you calculate this? First, you have to plot it. Plotting it, you have 40 north, and you have 30 east. 40 north and 30 east. So that is N. Then you have 70 south, that east. So you have 70 south, that is, that is B. Now, to calculate the distance between A and B, you have something like a sector having theta as the angle at the center. So, this sector, to calculate the length, the arc length AB, you take theta over 360 to pi r. How do I get theta? You see, if we consider 
the equator to be at the center. Below the equator, we have 70 degrees. And above the equator, we have 40 degrees. This 40 and this 70. When you add the two, you'll get 110. So our theta is 110. So to calculate that distance, you take 110 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6370 where 6370 is the radius of the earth. So, to get the answer for that part, you take 110 times 2 times 22 times 6370 divided by 360 times 7, which gives you 12 to 34.4 kilometers. So that is how you get the distance in kilometers along a great circle. So along a great circle, the formula is always the theta over 360 to pi r. But that is in terms of kilometers. If you are asked to calculate the distance between A and B in nautical miles, the formula is theta times 60, where 60 is the constant. So in this case, we'll have 110 times 60, which will give you 6,600 nautical miles. So that is how you use the, you calculate the distance along a great circle, either in kilometers or in nautical miles. For in kilometers, you take theta over 360 times 2 pi r. For nautical mile, it is theta times 60, where 60 is a constant. Now, concept number three. Now, in concept three, we calculate the distance along small road, small circle. The distance along small circle. Example. Now, example you have, uh, calculate the distance between P and Q, where P is 40 degrees north, 75 east, and Q is 40 degrees north, 65 west. So, first you have to plot it. But now you're told in terms, sorry, in one kilometers, and two in nautical miles. Again, how do I calculate this one? So this is what you do. You have 40 north, 75, 75 east. And you have 40 north, then 65 west. Again, you're going to have something like that. Well, this is radius, small radius, because it's a small circle. Then we have this angle. If we had the Greenwich meridian at the center, to the eastern side, you have 75 degrees. To the, this other side, you have 65 degrees. So the theta at the center, now theta will be equal to 75 plus 65, which will be equal to 140 degrees. Now, to calculate the distance along a small circle in kilometers, you take theta over 360 times 2 pi r cos alpha. Why? Because radius, small radius, is given by r cos alpha, where alpha it is the latitude on which the two, um, or the latitude the two points share. That latitude is the one we use, uh, we give alpha in that manner. So therefore, what do we do? To calculate the distance between point P and Q, we'll take 140 over 360 times two, times 22 over seven, times 6370, cos 40, this latitude. So having that, what do we say? 140 times 2 times 22 times 6370 cos 40 
divide by 360 times 7. That gives you 11 928.2 kilometers. So that is how you're supposed to do that. Now, number two, in nautical miles. In nautical miles, you use the formula theta times 60 cos alpha. Theta times 60 cos alpha. So it's going to give you 140 times 60 cos 40. So that will give you 140 times 60 cos 40. 140 times 60 cos 40, which gives you 64, 64, 34 point eight nautical miles. So you have to understand that when you're looking, when you're calculating the distance along the great circle and small circle, the formula is different. Whereby you have to put this in your mind. So for a great circle, for a great circle, the in kilometers is supposed to be theta over 360 to pi r, in nautical miles is supposed to be theta times 60. Then for small circles, that is latitude, you have to get theta over 360, 2 pi r cos alpha, that is in kilometers, in nautical miles is theta times 60 cos alpha. So that is how you're supposed to do that. Now. The other concept, concept number four, still on the same topic, is distance, the shortest distance. The shortest distance. Now, let's look at this question. You are told that, calculate the shortest distance, the shortest distance between P, 40 degrees north, let's say 50 degrees north, 60 west, and Q, 50 degrees north, 120 east. You're supposed to look for the shortest distance. So let us try to draw and plot the two points and see what are we talking about the shortest distance. Now, since the earth is spherical, is a sphere, that means this 50 degrees north, it also it has also a circumference on the other side. That is, the dotted line shows the other side of the sphere. So now, if I'm talking about 60, this is 60 west, it goes to the other side and forms 120 east. So, 50 north, 60 west is here, that is P, and 50 north, 120 east is here, the other side. So if you're moving from P to Q, you can either take this direction or you can move through the North Pole and reach there. Now, between the two sides, which one is easier? It is the one through the North. That one seems to be shortest distance compared to the other side. So to calculate the shortest distance, I want you to see this image. Because we have the equator at the center, zero degrees, we have the equator at the center, zero degrees, and it goes to the other side, like that. This earth has the core at the center of the earth. We have the core. If I join this one to here, dotted line, that's the center from Q to the center of the earth, and from P to the center of the earth, and then I draw a line that passes through there you realize that there is this angle and there is this angle. This angle, it is 50, and this other one is still 50. So you're going to find you will have something like a sector. 
that one, Q and P. And this angle here is going to be 80 because 50 plus 50 is equal to 100, then this one add up to 180. So this angle here is 80. And from here to here, it is the radius. So to get PQ, you're going to use theta over 360 to pi r because you're using a great circle. So therefore, you'll take 80 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 63, 70. And then you're going to get the shortest what? Distance. That is 80 times 2 times 22 times 63, 70 divided by 360 times 7. So it gives you 8,897.8 kilometers. So that is how you get the shortest distance. Now, instead of drawing, if drawing will give you a problem, then you do it this way. You're having 50 north, 60 west. That is P. You're also having Q, 50 north, and 120 east. The moment they ask you shorter distance, it means these two must add up to 180. So you take 160 one, uh, plus 120, it gives you 180. These two, when you add them, they give you 100. So instead of drawing all this, you can simply do this. Take this number, 180 minus this number, 100, over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 63, 70. And the answer is going to be the same. Okay? So if you are given a number like that, 50, 60, 50, 120, you're going to get the same thing. So that is how you're supposed to get the shortest what? Shortest distance. So for today, let us only cover that. That is how to calculate, to plot the points on the surface of the earth, then to calculate the distance along a great circle, along a small circle, and the shortest distance. So that is how you work it out.